The moon is something that we often take for granted. For a long time, it was something to conquer, and humanity did that more than 50 years ago. Since then, it has remained in our night sky while most of us don't give it a second thought, but it has an impact on us here on Earth, a very significant one in fact. The gravitational force of the moon dictates our tides and when they are in and out on our land masses. This is another thing that most of us don't tend to think about. The tides, like night and day, and the seasons, are things that change the same each day, each month, and each year. But they are essential and could spell disaster if they were interfered with. So with that in mind, let's look at what would happen if the Earth had two moons. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and also subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. First, we need to think about how this new moon might be formed. If it's anything like the first moon's birth, then humanity is in for a rough ride. NASA scientists believe our current moon was formed 4.5 billion years ago, soon after the Earth itself was born. It's thought that when an enormous Mars-sized planet hit us, the resulting debris from the impact formed together and began orbiting the globe. This was the moon, and has been orbiting Earth ever since with regularity. Of course, if this were to happen again, then you could say bye to life as we know it. It only took an asteroid of 10 kilometers across to wipe out the dinosaurs. If you imagine a planet the size of Mars hitting us, then you could see that we wouldn't stand a chance. So let's assume that our second moon has got there another, less destructive way, in that it has already been captured by our first moon's gravitational force and is operating somewhere between Earth and Moon 1. That doesn't mean that we're off the hook. We need to look at the ways tides are currently working to explain why. The moon's gravitational forces cause something called the tidal force. This influences Earth and its water to bulge out on the side closest to the moon as well as the side farthest from the moon. You experience a low tide when you're not in one of these bulge areas. If we throw another moon into the mix, then we would see this fine balance be destroyed and absolute chaos experienced by us. The gravitational forces of the new moon would mess with our tides and influence them to become up to eight times higher than what we're used to. We'd see enormous tidal waves which would dwarf anything that we've ever experienced. This would lead to dramatic earthquakes and, in turn, more volcanic activity. This would be the case for years until things settled into equilibrium, but not before causing a mass extinction of marine life. Our chances on land wouldn't be too great either. Coastal cities like New York and Singapore would be at the mercy of the high tides, and overwhelmed to the point of extinction. Only inland settlements would be safe. This is in the short term. In the long term, there are potentially apocalyptic consequences to the moons, but also to us. After millions of years, there's a chance that the two moons could collide. The resulting impact would be so huge it would tear the very core of the moons apart and lava would erupt from their center. This would cause an ominous red light in the sky on Earth. This would be a warning light for the debris that would inevitably rain down on us in all directions and form massive craters miles wide. The chunks that didn't make it that far would likely orbit the planet like the rings on Saturn, but would most likely end up grouping together and forming a new third moon. Before any of this might happen, there's a possibility we'd see destruction on the second moon caused by fighting gravitational forces of Earth and our original moon. This would cause a tug-of-war effect, which would cause the second moon's surface to warp and trigger significant volcanic activity. This would cause the second moon's surface to be dominated by rivers of lava representing a hellish landscape much like that of Jupiter's moon Io today. As well as all this fire and brimstone, there's likely to be another impact that we currently see today but barely notice. A new moon has the potential to speed this process up and what we're talking about is our days getting longer. Right now, our current moon is spiraling away from Earth at around 1.5 inches each year. In tandem, it pulls on the Earth and this slows down the planet's rotation. The rotation of a planet dictates the length of its day, so this effect is adding one second to our day every 40,000 years. Now that sounds insignificant, but if you add another moon to the mix, then you could see this accelerated significantly. In millions of years' time, the day may have grown by as long as 16%, which means four hours longer than what we're used to. This might seem like a good thing as most of us wish we had more hours in the day to get things done. But the negative effect of this is that the two moons would gain on each other and result in the apocalyptic scenario of the two colliding that we've already explored. 
To sum this all up, then, it's not a pretty future if we had two moons. If we survived the formation of the moon in the first place, then our coastal cities would be destroyed, along with all marine life. Assuming we get that far, then slowly our days would get longer, but this would result in the collision of our two moons, creating a hell on Earth, plus a new moon orbiting our torched and maimed planet. Looks like it doesn't bode well for us. Maybe this scenario will give us all a whole new appreciation for the one moon that we have today. So this helps to answer the question, if we had two moons, what do you think about the probability of this scenario? Do you think humanity would survive? Do you live in a coastal area that would be affected? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.